buddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Fran Bow. We're in chapter 4, part 2. We're coming right up towards the end and we're going to finish this strong. There's a broken bicycle though. That's from the... A red bicycle? Is it Edward's bicycle or mine? It's from the ship. Look at Mr. Midnight poking the ground. What are you doing? Wait, where do we go? Oh, this way. Come on, Mr. Midnight. It's time to head out of here. An actual town. And not just a freaky place either. Oh my goodness, this is our street kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Sweet Jesus. Can we do anything with this place? No. Okay, we just keep on going. Mr. Kitty doesn't do much. He just sits there on his arse all day. Is this my house? And here we are. This looks l much more grey than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Wait, are we home? Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a key hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Under the plants. Has to be. Has to be. Ew! Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Ew! I took the key, Fran. I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? What? I thought I was gonna like check my stuff and it would say that I had the key. Can I break a window? Can I get in the window? Mr. Kitty, can you go inside the window? Climb this. Come here, Kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yeah, because out of all the shit that's been happening, Kitty, that's the strange part. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note and I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, all right. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Go, little kitty cat. You sexy little bastard. There we go. Do I do something? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door! Oh no, it's Dr. Pussface! Fran, I can't believe this! You were alive! Where were you? Dr. Dean, I'm fine! Please don't take me back to the asylum! I've been looking for you for a long time now! How did you escape? I, I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask where you... Where... May I ask why you, are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I love you, Grace! <laughs> I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until the door... He opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Not this shit again! Dr. Dean! You've a bag full of shit. Stab him in the balls. Don't open the door right now. Don't open the door right now. If you... All is not as it seems. Well, this is lovely. So how's the wife? Do I have to do stuff? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want you... No, I don't want to hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents. Family murder on Hay Street. So I'm dead! Yay, I was ten years old. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Aww. But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. 
When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamatin were too high. Yes, I am a real doctor. Those are words that I can speak. That can't be good. Ectoplam... Ectoplamatin... Ecto... Creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplamatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. Like, look at this. <laughs> what do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel in other worlds. It's great. <laughs> ultra reality? That must be a consequence of the duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. With that fucker in the background. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. <laughs> my arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Ethersta with Polontris and the Great Wizard. Yeah, because those sound like things that he's not going to think you're crazy for. <laughs> What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polontris, and my kitty is all alone. Polontris? Itward? Please, Fran. Polontris is the doctor of Ethersta. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. He uses the pink water to clear, clay, heal all ailments. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Oh, that's the two. Those are the ones. The two girls in the assignment, they claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of- Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Yep, that's where, that's where I was. In the ultra reality. Great place. Lovely place. I'd recommend it. Four stars and Yelp. What? Is, that was awful, sir. Can you take me back to the asylum? Don't worry, I won't. Oh, I think I'm misreading stuff. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all of this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Polontris was right about you. You are not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Waiting for tonight! Oh! <laughs> Great! Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Chip, chip, cheerio. <laughs> Can I steal your car? Ooh! A crowbar! Sweet! I was only going to see if I could steal the car and shit. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I'm glad it's not real leather. It's more friendly. Fran, you have something to say about everything. Here's me, Mr. Crowbar. Are you sleepy? Oh no, what was it? I'm Mr. Crowbar! And meet my friend, who is also a crowbar. <laughs> Hello! This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. You were just like Bruce Wayne, and I'm here to turn you into Batman. I'm Alfred. <laughs> Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice! Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what 
And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I go left and you can go right. I see you in a few minutes, right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Dean, I see you soon. Because you went to great lengths to keep me safe, and now you're just going to let me wander around on my own. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, or Dagenhart, and Fran Bow Dagenhart. What badass names! 1901 to 44, he was only 43 years old. 1905 to 44, she was even younger. 34 to 44, I was 10. Can I light this? Do I have matches? I do. I have a crowbar as well. Let's go dig up some graves. It's what I love to do on a great old Saturday night. No name, no flowers, maybe nobody is down there. <coughs> Must be the shovel storage room. Then let Mr. Crowbar take a look at that door. Did we do it? The pine cone fuckers. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! <laughs> oh, please, don't be scared, I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes. You see? <laughs> ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, okay. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes. Last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope I can find the leather. Hmm. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door, all right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? <laughs> all right, I'll see what I can do. The car! the fuck did this asshole go? Okay, we're gonna use the knife and chop up this guy's car. He doesn't need it. He's a douchebag. Chop, chop, chop. There we go. A big hole. Yes. Yes. I'm such a brave little girl. And I also love how... Like, enthusiastic she is about everything. She's a pine cone. She's like, hello, little pine cone. Like, she doesn't give a shit, really. It's just like, she's more, she's more curious about everything than she is scared. Here you go. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the pine zealous, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Thanks, little leprechaun dude. <laughs> Thanks. Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Uh, I, I'm alright, miss, yes. Me fucking arse! <laughs> Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? There's Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. They're gonna have, like, a big pine cone orgy. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Yeah. What? D do I not go in? What do we do? There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. So I didn't actually have to do anything with that? Son of a bitch. You're just wasting my time now, game. And there we have it. The secret. Well, now we'll have to open up with- we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck! I had a crowbar on my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But can you do the honors of opening the coffins? Sure! It's not like I'm ten! What I mean, I guess I'd be eleven now if it was my birthday. What's inside coffin number one? Ah, fucking cat! Is that Mr. Kitty? <laughs> Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin, great. <laughs> That'd be my exact reaction to opening my own coffin. Hello, father. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. Would you like a ham sandwich? Oh, my goodness, father. D -de the deadly worms took your eyes. Now what? 
Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing and maybe this one actually- this one is actually your cat! It can't be, sir! I did find my kitty! You have to believe me! Take me home and I'll show you, please! Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Did you- you picked me up at my house to come over here to open up graves just to bring me back to my house so you could do this later. Why?! No! Oh! oh no! Raymore, no! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. What are you doing to me, you D-bag? Well, that's a big old waste of my time! You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Oh, don't! That's fine. You don't need to. You're freaking me out, man. Oh, we're on to chapter five already! Ooh! Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible! I'm so happy to see you, please give me a hug! Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after you... After what he did. Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. What? This can't be real. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Now, rest, my darling. You need it. But, Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. The devil's, or idle hands are the devil's playthings or something like that, as they say. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't worry about the lies. The seeker of, ugh! Oh god, my fucking- this tickle in my neck. The seeker of the truth will always die because of the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. I don't like this. And the door vanished. Oh no, please don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Beat the shit out of me, kid. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dean said everything is in my head. Does this mean I can do stuff now without needing the pills? Ooh. Use. 
can't be done. You said I could use this for something. <gasps> the cat has a keyhole in it. Ooh! I can't fucking use this. I painted this one. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. I know this is shorter than the others. I thought that this was gonna be like another 40 minute thing because the first part of chapter 4 was that long and then I thought that the next one was gonna be all like chapter 5 then it would be a really long one so I'm gonna- I'm gonna split them up into the chapter so the next one will just be all start to finish. I'm gonna do this from here right to the ending no matter how long it takes. It might take quite a while, I might have to skip a few things if there's a lot of puzzles to find out But I will do it all in one video and it's gonna be amazing and we're gonna to get to the end of this And we're finally coming to a close in Frambo and we can find out what the fuck is going on Because I'm still kind of confused But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode If you liked it, punch the like button in the face Like a boss And High fives all around Whoosh, whoosh Well thank you guys and I will see all your dudes Nice! Now if people come back, I can actually just destroy them. Day 60. No help in sight. The world is a dark void. Devoid of all human life and social interaction. I'm never gonna be safe. Tick tock. The sound the clock makes. It never ends. <laughs>